Hey everyone, welcome back to Brick System Brothers. How do you like my new spacesuit? I uh, put it on just for this video. So today I have a video about opening assembled models in Studio, which is a building software that is now owned by Lego. I want to put this video out because I have done a video about this topic before, but it's getting a little bit out of date. Uh, back in August of 2020, I made a video about using this website to open an assembled LEGO model in the studio software. A couple things have happened since then, or rather, uh, something has not happened, and that is this site is just kind of static. Um, there's not a lot of models being added, so I think the 20 that we see here are really all there is to work with. And there's some good ones in here. You know, we've got the mod, a couple modulars and some of the speed champion sets. But it really seems like it's kind of a dead site at the moment. Um, and there is a disclaimer here that says the section's being revamped. But I've checked on this over the past year or two, and it hasn't really changed at all. And, you know, that's okay. This is, I think, one person's kind of passion project. So it's not like there's an expectation for things to be changing rapidly on here. Um, but this is not really the same thing as a community that is regularly putting stuff out um, that we would have seen on the forum like Eurobricks where they are putting out models for LDD. And that leads me to the other thing that has happened since 2020. Lego is no longer offering LDD as legacy software directly as a download. So the page where you used to be able to download the software now redirects to Bricklink Studio because Lego actually bought Bricklink and they are kind of redirecting their digital building traffic into Studio right now. So LDD as a program has become much more inaccessible and it seems like Studio is one of the main things that's being leaned into. On the official side of things, Studio is supported um, there's a bit of a learning curve to it, but I think it's a decent piece of software. So when it comes to having models to work with, the, uh, the only native option is the official LEGO set import option, where you basically need to know your set number, and then you can open those parts either in the building scene or as a palette. But there's not an option to just open this model fully assembled, uh, which would be really handy for making some modifications or just having a starting point without actually having to build the model yourself. And that's where the community side of things com comes in. Um, like I talked about in the previous video, there's kind of limited options that we have when it comes to opening these assembled models in Studio specifically. Uh, and there's a, a, a bit more range when it comes to LDD, um, but again, that is a community project. And so there's, there's not really an exhaustive resource of these models out there for us to just kind of open in the software and start building with right away. Uh, but since that other video, I have become aware of a few other options besides the Pascal's Brick site. So, First one I want to mention is BrickHub. BrickHub is not just LEGO sets, but they do have a decent variety of these assembled models. So let's jump in here to the creator theme and see some of the ones that are available as downloadable options here. Quite a few smaller ones, the smaller end of the range, um, but we do have a larger one like the Tower Bridge here. And our modular specifically, we have four of those available. And that's where these are from. So for this video, I did quickly download three of those four modulars, drop them into Studio. Uh, most of it is working pretty OK. I do, there was something about Cafe Corner that I want to mention a little bit down the line here. Uh, but basically, for BrickHub, you're just going to load up the model that you want to download click into that. Um, the main point of the site is to have uh, digital hosted instructions. And actually, in the frequently asked questions section, 
it is kind of detailed that one of the main drives of having this site is having a digital alternative to printed instructions. So that is what a lot of the functionality is centered around, but there is the option to download this as well. And there's a couple ways you can go here. Um, these are all based on the LDRAW framework. Studio can read LDRAW data, and so we have the option to download the Studio Safe LDRAW file. So if you click on that, it will give you an LDR file, and you can download that to your computer. From there, in your Studio software, which there will be a link in the description if you do not have Studio already, go ahead and start a new tab, and then you, it's the same thing, import model. We, uh, we looked at the official LEGO set before. The model feature is just going to give you the option to do those other file types. So uh, 10182 is Cafe Corner here. And if we open that in, we can see that it is the assembled set. Um, but like I mentioned, there's a couple issues here. Um, the way that the LDRAW file was created to build these arches and the flexible tubing necessary to do that doesn't necessarily communicate well with the, uh, the studio side of things either. So to end up with the same thing that I have in my street here, you do have to go in and do a little bit of surgery on the model. The main point is the model itself is pretty contained, pretty well done. We can go all the way down into the individual steps here and see that it is built with the same level of detail that the official set is. You have the, the steps ascending in the order that you would expect to see them. Um, the only thing is these things do get quite a bit, you know, the level of nesting here is, is pretty high. And so to actually follow the individual steps, that's not necessarily as intuitive, but when it comes to having a pre-assembled model, I think this is a really good option to go. And the other thing that you can do with these in Studio, if you don't care about having the step order preserved, you can actually release everything back to their individual bricks. You are gonna have to do this at the step level as well, but that is an option. And then once you have everything released, you can go in and edit the individual bricks like you would with a regular studio model. So a little bit of extra workload just to get to that level, but compared to actually building something like Cafe Corner piece by piece following the instruction manual, this is gonna be way faster to arrive at an actual model of Cafe Corner that you can, you know, you can do stuff with. If you wanna add an extra floor and start looking at what different colors would be um, you don't necessarily want to spend a lot of your time building this model up just to mess, mess around with that kind of thing. You want to start with uh, an actual complete model and then kind of work backwards from there. At least that's how I would want to do it. So that is why I bring uh, this site to attention today, BrickHub. It is nowhere near complete in terms of the sets that are available, but it is more complete than Pascal's Bricks. And it is also, from what I understand, more of a community-facing project where people can continue to add models as we go, and it's not necessarily uh, as siloed as Pascal's Bricks would be. All right, the honorable mention for today is a rebrickable project in the forum. So the rebrickable forum is kind of separate from the rebrickable website, but I have found it to be a good source of information and community in, in the LEGO side of things. And one of the threads that's been pretty active in the forum is this LEGO sets in studio topic. So this was started back in May of 2021, and it's actually been pretty active even in the last year. Um, these models were added within the last couple of days. So modern, modern sets, recent sets are being added. Um, what I find lacking on this thread is kind of an overview or a way to see what's here. What we have right now is 
pretty much just the option to start scrolling through and see what is here. Um, there isn't really a home page where you can see the number of models that are available or even a list of the set numbers. So I think that is something that could be improved. Um, and this thread itself is actually part of a larger initiative for Rubricable to host studio files. And this is something that is still in the forum side. Um, there's no guarantee it's ever going to be implemented, but it does seem like this is a favorable direction that Rubricable might want to go in terms of having the option to download a studio file for a set straight from the set entry on the main page. If you are looking for a specific model, really the best you can do right now is the search function, which is going to be a control F and then you can try to search up a set number. For example, I have this 8865 bookmarked and you know, see if that has been contributed. And we got a hit here, number 17. So if I do wanna not start from scratch and have this car, uh, sometimes these are direct downloads from the forum hosting uh, but there's also an option to download it from BrickSafe. Um, that's another thing about the forum side is it's a little looser. And so there might be a link to a BrickSafe folder. It might be a link to a Google Drive folder. Um, in either case, the point of this thread is to have the assembled models ready to open in studio and start building with from, no, from day one and not have to assemble them yourself probably repeating work that somebody else has already done. So there you have it. Uh, today's video, trying to update some of the information from f almost four years ago now, uh, hopefully looking at resources that are going to be a little bit more active. So that's a little bit of a ramble, but you know, if you are looking for some of these modulars that are already built and not having to build them from scratch, like <clears throat> I have recently done, <laughs> then this is a good place to start. Not near complete, but you know that's actually something that you can contribute to if you'd like to, um, and you have the the software to do so and some patience. And I think that's kind of how we're gonna have to do this is little by little. You know, if you have a project where you do have this digital model built and you're ready to say, hey, I I can share this with people. Um, that's a reason to follow the building instructions as you do it and, and put it into those steps. But also, even if you haven't followed the instructions and it's just a, a big model of all pieces in a single step, I think there's still some value in that and being able to share that and have people not have to repeat that work. So yeah, let's maybe start from there and hopefully see these locations that are hosting these models remain somewhat active and, and have these resources available. Uh, hopefully expanding as we go forward. So thanks for watching guys. If you need these uh, these digital models, a couple more places we can look now.